you people have to let me know this and i need to be honest we're talking about 27 year old harry kane to three year old ronaldo based on finishing alone no not all around play mm. who are you going to want I'm, I'm taking Harry Kane all day of the week. We're yeah, talking about a crazy. guy who is scoring 20 plus goals a season in the Premier League. Where'd you get this logic from? <laughs> Technology has wanted to piss me off this morning. But God bless welcome, you. welcome back to another episode of the DES podcast. The DES without the S. Thank you. Well, once like, again. He's a special guest now at this point. He's actually a special guest. Well, anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm here with the man himself. You want to introduce yourself once again to the people? You know yourself, it's Eddie, man, the general overseer. The man. The, the man, the man himself. And I'm here, Abedemi, there once again, giving you another episode. So, you know what I want to say? Uh, you know, I. You remember we were talking about Argentina the last time, yeah? Yeah. You know that the own. They're their own. They're actually very silly. Let me explain to you why. You know, I only even myself I'm a bit silly. I only realized that the Olympics were being held in France. And then that VR decision just came about after. Oh, bro, that's that. Uh, let me not say it's rigged, but um, I'd say there was someone up high that were like, Fuck yeah. These, man. Yeah." Argentina, if, they, if there's anything that we can give against them, let's do it. Yeah, crazy. But um, no, it's it's that's very what. So let me get this straight. They scored a goal. Yeah. And it took like, was it, fifteen or two hours for them to say the goal was offside? Yeah. But what? after the match as well. After we okay so. I, I don't understand the story fully. Do you know understand the story? I don't, I don't know the story fully. But from what I gather is that whatever, when they scored the goal versus when they called it was offside, there was a long period in time mm. between it. <laughs> and it comes back to where we always say the referees are becoming a big problem in football. Because there's like, okay, fair enough, what they've done, you know, probably Cam is a bitch. It is what it is. That's life. But you can't, but you can't, wait that long to give a decision like it makes no logical sense like everybody already knew with liverpool and tottenham game this season when something like that happened like it was terrible i know what they, people will say it's the right decision but there mm. has to be a time frame for you to say okay we made a mistake here we have to just leave it and move on no but the thing is though you can't like the ref i don't know why the referee union like they stood for that decision being changed because the match was already done like it's done and dusted and i don't even think the olympics didn't even start at that point either the Olympics start what well, starting to yesterday or tomorrow. The like the opening ceremony was yesterday. So what were they doing? In that, that was one? just a, like I swear that was just like a friendly match or something. I don't think I don't think they, they start the Olympics like. So what is that match? I don't even know what that match was like. Are you sure? I swear I swear the Olympics because I remember they did the ceremony yesterday. I saw them um, LeBron and all of them. Remember they were just waving the flag like I thought that's how it starts, no? That they waved the flag of the country. Wait, 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 people, give me two minutes. I just have to check this out myself because I'm very confused now. So you're telling me Argentina versus Morocco. This Olympics is sitting here. Yeah, but I don't know if the Olympics... When, when did the Olympics start? Like, just check Wait, it. do you not remember? The Olympics is not just it's, track. It's, yeah, there's a I lot know. more too. Apparently, there's even golf in the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a lot of sports, but I didn't know, like, I didn't know if they started that before they started the actual Olympics. You know what I mean? Let me check this. No, it is a. It was an Olympic match, like? Yeah. No, fair. It was an Olympic match. And did you see a match around was coming out and saying it was scandalous? It's like, where are you, you big muppet? <laughs> you were talking about scandalous. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> I didn't even know he was the fucking coach of Argentina for an Olympic team. Mm. Wonder why um England don't have a Olympic team. Yeah, no, it was the opening match of the Paris Olympics. Oh yeah? Yeah, it was the opening match oh, of okay. the Paris Olympics. That's what it was. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Well I apparently I think what happened is that the Moroccans don't suck them on the pitch and they had to suspend the game. And then I don't know whatever happened during that time. I think there was a decision like, well, that wasn't a goal, so we can't give it. But I don't think that was right. Now, mm -hmm. someone can explain to us in the comments more about it, but I'm just going from what I kind of was doing 
Because obviously I didn't watch the match. I was just hearing a lot about what There's happened. There's a lot on Twitter. There's a lot on TikTok. I'm just like, chai. Like, yeah, it seems like it is a bit I mean, of... anything that could go Argentina's... Like, the other way for Argentina. It's going to happen because mm. it's, it's in France, like... Yeah, I know. But that's... It's pretty silly, like, what um is going... Like, I feel sorry for them as well because, like... um you're after being racist to a whole country and now you have to go to that country to go into the Olympics and thinking anything will go in your favor. Because I know everybody will say that, oh, forget about that. You have to be fair. But then the day, like, they're not going to care. Like, no, there's going to chance. be some sort of bias in them that's going to be like, you know what? Yeah, these were the mans that were chanting about. Imagine, imagine Enzo Fernandez was supposed to go to the Olympics, but they denied him. Really? Chelsea denied him, yeah. Imagine you would have Do you crazy. blame them? No. If, if if he stepped in front, he's not going to No, be this back. was before he made that whole video. Oh, but thank God he didn't. Yeah, because, because if you imagine if he went... They would have to say... They would have killed him. Oh, yeah. And people need to realise the French are no crowd to play with. Not a chance. Do you ever see them when they protest? Hey! Talk, 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 talk. They're a different breed. Hey. A different breed. God almighty. But um, no, that's, uh, the Olympics... The Olympics, I am... Um, speaking of the Olympics, the Olympics has died down a lot. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really hear anything mm. about. I, to be honest, ever, I've never actually personally watched, watched ever, Olympics. But for me, ever since like the likes of Johan Blake, Usain Ball, yeah. Tyson Gay, um, there's another guy whose name is not coming to my head. He's a big one in the Olympics as well. Like, um, I know, and I a few. What about girl, Michael Phillips? Is that Mike, Mike Phillips is the swimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the swimmer. Um. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Who else is there? Like, the big names, ever since they've, like, disappeared, like, the only people I really know is Noel Isles, and a few of the women there would be um, um, Sharika Jackson, there is the Jamaicans, there is Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, there is a few people (laughs) now. (laughs) Now, there is one person I am keeping an eye on, Rashida Adelike, the 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 Irish girl absolute machine back well you see you said she did 400 this yeah she does 400 like, do you know see like when ireland done the i don't know before by four mixed relay they won this girl on her leg Phew. oh no nah. like they fair play to the irish people in um, that one they won gold medal in that race for the first time i think in the history of the sport of that race i was like jesus no the olympics are the Olympics are very interesting now because, mm. like, I remember when the Beijing Olympics, the London Olympics, and I think, yeah, the London and Beijing Olympics was the two big ones. That's when Usain, that's when the Jamaican team mm. were fully there, like, all the big names. And now it's just like, oh, you know. The only reason why I'm going to watch it is because of that Rashida girl. Nothing more, nothing else. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to watch it because of Team USA. They did Avengers Assemble. What? Yes. <laughs> no, Alliance said one thing. I don't know if you want to go mad. Man, they bought the, uh, as, what, the Avengers and the Assemble. Like, that's bringing Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, Spider-Man. They're going into another universe, bringing uh, the Fantastic Four as well. Like, that is crazy. Man, they, man said they have Steph Curry and LeBron James on the same team with KD, Joel Embiid, Anthony Davis, Anthony Edwards. Care? And we're supposed to just stay and look at them. Who's going to beat them? I don't think that was fair. Personally, I don't think that's I fair. I mean, to be honest, they are representing their country. Like, what else? Ah, but lad, come on. The difference between representing your country and bringing, bringing like... The authorities. The authorities. <laughs> this is like bringing the biggest, the big boys of the sport. This is like, can you imagine France put their, all their young boys there? For the... For the Olympics team. That's actually what they're doing, like. Yeah, but to be honest, like, yeah, that comment by Noah Lyles just made they made them all just say, yeah, fuck you. Let's speak of that Noah Lyles comment for a minute. He's not lying, though. No, you no, can't keep, not. You can't keep calling yourself world champions. World champions, no. And it's only in America. Because that's like calling, that's like saying, oh, the Prem, you're world champions, you're world champions, but you only won in England. You know what I mean? It's only one country, like, because they're not playing, it's not like they're playing against a French team or something or a Slovenian team or anything. But like, yeah, maybe playing the Olympics, they, can be, they are going to be world champions now and they can't chat anymore. I'll be sorry. Because you're not... When I see... When I see in all the highlights... Because I didn't watch the match, but I was seeing the highlights of Steph Curry and, and LeBron James combining together. I said, yeah, long. Allow all of that. Immediately. It's silly. Immediately allow all of that. 
when I saw LeBron, bro, those people, man. Aish. I'm looking at some I, Kevin Durant, Anthony Edwards, Steph Curry, hey. Anthony Davis. Hey. Jesus. LeBron James. Jesus. Kyle Christ. Ivory. Hey. Okay. And like I just, Devin Booker is there as well. Yes. Jason mm. Tatum. Jason Tatum, yeah. Drew Hardin, Derek White. Derek White. Trey Young. Hey. Jesus is Lord. Now nah, they're violent with that team though. What is this? They basically Like what is they, the point they, of this? They basically picked all the best players in the league and put them on one team, like Oh my god. Like fucking hell. They didn't even allow Ah, oh, God of my team. Nah, they just the USA literally turned around and said, you know what, no lies, we're gonna prove you wrong. But I still don't think they understand what the guy is trying to say. It's just like if that's still not gonna change the narrative. Yeah. Because America don't compete with anybody outside America. Mm. While in Europe, you have the Champions League, you have the Europa League, you have the Conference League, <coughs> you have the Euros. Because the Copa America is only five teams. Yeah. Let's, if, let's, let's say if they had the World Cup for the basketball, it's a different story. Yeah. If there was a basketball World Cup. That's complete. That's World Champions. Like, they, where you have, like, you know, obviously they bring their big boys. Everybody mm. brings their big boys. Yeah. Because I feel like if Europe... If I don't know, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not really big into basketball, but I feel like European basketball is at a pretty decent level as well. So it's not to American standards because that's a nah, whole. Thing. Well, but I feel depends, like, but like it's most of the most. I feel of the like best. if you got some of the best European basketball players versus the best American basketball players, it wouldn't be a. It would be tight. It wouldn't be like a trash. It wouldn't. Yeah, because some of the best players in the league are like from Europe. Like you have Dantich, Dantich. You have yeah. Jokic as well. That crazy. I, that Gre- crazy. Greece in, it's Greece in Europe, right? Who? Greece is in Europe, yeah. Yeah, you have Giannis as well. That's where Giannis came from as yeah. well, yeah. Yeah, so like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, at that point, like, three the best players in the league mm. are European, so, shit. It'll be a close one. Even Wemby. Wemby Nyama, I forgot about him. He's French. Yeah, like, I'm not really, mo- I have to get more into basketball, but um, what the USA basketball team don't should act. I'm not being bad. I get there has to be a level of competitiveness in mm. the mm. Olympics, but that is just unnecessary. That's the that's you can say they're the best players. Like you have the greatest player of all time there. You have the, some of the great like you can you can say LeBron is great, but boy, you can put Steph Curry up there. He's one. He's gonna yeah, be the best tree shooter, tree, the, tree point shooter. The guy will be throwing trees like there's no day tomorrow. He has the most trees, trees, trees. of all time in NBA. Like are we are we Jesus? You have one. You have the best. And you have Kevin Durant there. You have Kevin Durant there. You have the you have the most the, the player that has the most points in the NBA, most points scored. LeBron. Cat. <laughs> Yeah, it's raps like no one's beating Let's them. Just give them the gold medal. Already. I don't like. Don't Just even give try. them the gold medal. No and watch them, when they come out now, they're probably gonna say like, "Oh, now we're world champions now." Mm, I wanna see yeah, they're gonna be again. giving basketball. Instead now. of instead of you to be like, you know what? He has a point. We came, mm. we saw, we conquered, we proved we're the best team in the world now. End the story, and yes, then go support them. I just feel like it's because Americans think that they have the world is in in America. Their, no, their world is in America, like you see, you see, America, ha- America live in their own world. That's, yeah, that's the that's thing. That's their own world. To they them, actually like, have their own world. Because there's some Americans that don't actually know there's other countries. Do in, you know there's some world. Americans that have never even left? You see, you know, for them, to, you know, the way we go on holiday to like Portugal, yeah, we yeah, go yeah. to Spain. Mm. To them, a holiday could be from one state to another. God knows, it could be from Washington to Texas. You know, like that's the, you know what I mean. That's crazy. To you me. know, you know to them, like, but you know, like apparently, like. There's parts of America that'll take you like two, three hours to go to. Can you imagine? It's you know, the same in Australia. It's like I travel from like Sydney to Perth. I think it is like two or three hours. Can you imagine? Go for the bat. The hell? Oh. Oh my god. Nah. But um, no, like the Olympics, I can't wait till the I can't wait to track and field start because I want to see who will be the new big superstars. Yeah. I pray to God. Rashida, you may never see this, but I wish you all the best. Bring gold back to Ireland. Let's do this. And let's get that gold medal for look at that gold for yourself, Hope but that's right. some achievement, man. Mad, a girl yeah. from Tala is gonna be on the <laughs> Olympic stage because, like, that's not gonna be. Yeah. Let's not lie, yeah. There, there, like, there's people that probably would never. There's people that probably be like, oh, they dream of that, but never. Yeah, like, just, oh, a girl from Tala on the Olympics. Lol, nah. <laughs> like, yeah. if, I'm not being bad. like if you ever in Tala. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, people know like Tala. What it's known for. Tala is Tala. Tala anyway. is Tala. Like it's the people don't look at Tala like that's where that's where things, greatness goes out. No, they don't look at it like. But now yeah. they're going to be proved wrong. Mm. I think that's what people. The people I mean, need to start judging. 
What can you do? What people think is all from these posh. Works, they think it's from all these posh areas. I think the best people in any type of sporting or s- anybody who has come like is big. That become big. Yeah, from the ends. They're from the ends. <laughs> Because that's where that's where your that's where your built different. Yeah, you understand the level of built different. That's yeah. where like you get humble. They teach you. That's where until you know end yet yeah, is mm. where the best footballers, the yeah, best the athletes, sh- yeah, all come because ball, it's like, all about being the best. Mm. You know, because when you're the fastest around, everybody we need to be the fastest around. You know how many people you've had to beat in a race? Exactly. And when you're the fastest, someone wants to beat, beat you, you, and they're gonna uh, work until always. They beat you. Hey. It's not like if you're in like in a posh area. I'm not. Well, I'm not from a posh area. It's like a posh area. And I was like, you know, that you're the fastest. That every no one's gonna challenge you because yeah. you're the star boy. Yeah. There's no star boy in the end. Nah. For you to be the star boy, you literally have to be like you have okay. To be consistently winning. Yeah, you have to be like okay. You that's that lose. guy can't lose. But anyways, that's why I just I pray for to God and I hope she gets gold because that's mm. I just pray to God she gets gold. Because obviously I know like. Yeah, I've seen it in Europe, but when you're coming against the Jamaicans and the Americans, yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy, but look, we're praying for you, mm. and I hope all the best. But um, yeah, Noah Lyles as well. He's gonna be another name to watch. He's gonna be, he's gonna have to. He wants to prove a point as well. He's coming yeah, for you. Yeah, you see record. what you said about him that he won't be able to. Yeah, he won't break his record. Yeah, and I was like, check this guy. He ah. might put a few. There, but I don't, mm. see, I don't think he's gonna do it. Obviously, I don't think see using bots. See using bots a different breed. Mm. But like, who now? Who are who is who is using bots at the same time? The well to say that no one can beat his record. Yeah, because this guy, this guy comes down and beats your record, so he has to be the two. So for him, I think the main record he has to beat is the two hundred meter record. Yeah, that's using bots big boy record nineteen point one nine. The hundred meters, like someone's gonna break that record eventually. Actually, like you know what I mean. You know, so I know I know you haven't been watching Olympics a lot, mm-hmm. but you don't want people to watch out for the Italians. Oh yeah, the Italians have been in track. The Italians have been doing madness in track. In track. In track. Hey. I'm not messing. The hey. Italians have been doing a madness. Like I remember, there was one race. They were there was a relay. Hmm. England were winning. This guy, I don't know what the the Olympic gods gave to him. Mm. He would like England should have won. This guy is like something he just injected his leg with a boost of adrenaline. Pew! And the guy won. So like I can't wait for the Olympics. Like I genuinely actually I'm gonna watch it this year. And I hope, like I said, my main focus is gonna be watching that Rashida yeah. girl, but I hope all the best for her. And I really hope she gets gold. Yeah. So let's move on to something I wanted to talk about. And maybe you would like, disagree with me or agree. The downfall of the UFC. It's not, it's not, it's not something I see anymore, you know, the UFC. Yeah. It used to be popping off, like. like. Ever since, and I see the thing is, yeah, I think people could, obviously you, there's UFC fans that are going to be UFC fans to the core. Mm. You know, people can agree or disagree with me. Ever since the likes of Adesanya, um, Nganu, McGregor. And Nate Diaz as well. Nate Diaz. Diaz um the what's the woman's name again ronda rousey john jones maybe. john jones john jones ever since like they've not been fighting as much i haven't seen big hype around see because you know when like people can say okay because we're black and all this that's no the adesanya hype kamara Usman as well mm. it's like when these people fight it's like just just something about them that's like a charisma there's like oh okay Adesanya is fighting now. Like, it's like a like a unspoken rivalry yeah. or something. They're entertaining, mm. Mm, you know. So like the rivalry between uh, Alex Pereira and Adesanya, and, uh, that Adesanya was the one. Like Adesanya got knocked out by him first. Like it, when they were not born in UFC, they were just fighting. Then, then he comes into UFC, UFC takes the championship, championship, takes the championship, knocks off him, him out, knocks him out, and then Adesanya learned from the first fight, like, and then knocks him out again. again. It's like. You know, like if that's a storyline you want to see. Or oh, the story. Kamara Usman and um, uh, what's the new the champion right now? What's his name? English guy, Dean Edwards. No, I'm talking yeah. about the guy before. You know the one, Kobe Covington. Oh yes, remember that those two, those two that kept. They were beefing. Fighting. Like that is interesting. Like I feel like yes, there's a fine aspect of it, mm. but there's the build up to the fight. Mm. You know when you have Adesanya, Kamara Usman, in Ghana who was like cool and calm, I was like cool, calm, collected. But it, when you get inside that ring, you can't like, do so much. You know when he's fine, it's gonna be. A you know, hey, I go for a bit. The guy will swing that arm, bam. 
You know, and then you obviously you have Mr. Chache. Mm. Him. That one, I don't know. Maybe. He's been supposed to be fighting for last year. Like, he's supposed to fight mm. by now. Mr. Ch- ah, I don't know what's up with him, man. At the end of the day, like people said, he has too much money. He doesn't need to fight. Anymore. He doesn't need to fight. Like, yeah. like if he's fighting, like to be honest, if he, I think he'd kind of be stupid at this point to go out and fight. Like, yeah, but he, I remember when he said, don't get me twisted. <laughs> I'm no celebrity. He kind of are like, you're not fighting. You're not a UFC fighter. You're a he's celebrity. A, he's a celebrity. Like, yeah. he's the big celebrity. Like, there was a point he was the biggest celebrity in the world, so he needs to like stop with that shit. Mm. He knows what he is. He yeah. knows he knows what he's capable of. He's a businessman. He, he's a businessman. Yeah, he, he, he showed he sold like 600 million euro worth of his company there a while ago. So mm. obviously he has money like that. He has pee like, you know, so doesn't need to fight. But um, no, I think the UFC, in my opinion, there is a lot of, I don't think it's going in the right direction. I just feel like now it's just... I think the only interesting thing is to see now is John Jones versus Stipe. That's not happening, is it? Yeah, Remember? because John Jones was injured. Yeah, bro. John Jones is getting old, man. Like, eventually he's going to have to kind of be... Ah, like the guy is undefeated, though. <laughs> I tell you this. The guy... The thing about John Jones is John Jones is like what I'm saying. John Jones is one of those... like John Jones is like a Ronaldo or Messi. We're not really going to see people like him again. No, not a chance. See. Because like, I remember, I remember one guy said about John Jones. He's just like he takes your strength and he make uh, and he do, beats you at your own strength. I'm just like, do you understand? Do you under, deep what he just do, said? Do you, do you understand how manipulative someone has to be? <laughs> do you understand how crazy and psychotic someone has to be to come in and say that you're a good wrestler? Mm. I'm gonna beat you at your own game. Exactly. You're a good boxer. I'm gonna I'm knock box you head off your own, yeah. own game. Grappling. Let's go, let's go. Uh, do we, like, remember remember that time when he bet um, Daniel Cormier? Is that his name? Oh Daniel? yeah. And he was beating him relentlessly Child, around it. Do he get? And then there was one kick that he hit him with. I said, I never want to experience that kick ever. Because it made him <laughs> <that spin-up. laughs> I was like, how no. powerful is that fucking kick, man? Nah, Wait, John this Jones, guy went like this. John Jones is not a normal human being. And then he fought, he fought uh, Rampage, Jackson. And the kick that he was, you know, one, one kick that he was hitting into his leg like this. Mm. I was like, Hey, but my God! Remember he fought that Swedish guy as well. Mm. I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he fought one Swedish guy, and that was actually a decent fight. Mm. His last fight was oh against the game. French guy. Game, yeah. Game. Pizza, pizza, but this guy one. was the champion. John Jones' first match back, he submitted him in the space of what ten seconds or something. Oh. I'm just like, what? <laughs> I know. I swear, um, Gaze, like his strength is wrestling as well. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this. John Jones goes home. And fast for like 40 days or 40 nights. <laughs> God gives him a different type of strength. There's no, uh, because no that's that. No, that's a man that, that's a God given gift. Yeah, it's, it's like, just, it's not, no, it's not like Messi. It's like Messi is like that mm, gift to that beat talent. the hell out of people yeah. and beat you at your own game. Not even my own, not even that I know because John Jones is good at everything. Mm. So I'm going to beat you at what you do I best. Said, what? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, How mad that is. When someone, when they're interviewing someone and they say that, like, I'm too. I'd be too ashamed to say that to yeah. somebody. And then he says it. It's like he bet me on my own, my own strength. What? What? Imagine you, you have a strength, right? And someone beats you at your own strength. You know no. how you know how sad that would make me. I would retire, no. even if it was my first fight. I, I, it would pay me too. Too much. What about you, me too? Oh, sorry, guys. But now nah, I think the UFC is on the downfall a bit, and mm. I think sooner rather than later uh, they're gonna have to. Like I know, I think Adesanya is fighting soon. Yeah, yeah, probably. I think he is fighting soon. I think he's fighting that South African guy. <laughs> remember the one that he met? See, that's what I mean. Remember that beef that one? Uh, so remember that South African white guy that came out and said that um, Adesanya is not like a oh, real not, African or yeah. something. I don't know his name though. I don't know. I don't know the. I don't know the guy's name off by heart. Mm. Um, let me see if I can find. Who's the champion for his um weight class? It's not Strick Strickland. It's Strickland. What does he fight? Middleweight. Atanya. I think he's light heavyweight, no? Is he light heavyweight? Light heavyweight UFC champion. UFC rankings. Hey, my tummy is unbelievable. <laughs> it's not it. Uh-uh. Light heavyweight champions are his Pereira. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Well, yeah, he should know. He beat somebody recklessly as well. Wasn't it not strictly he beat? Alex Pereira. I don't I'm know pretty actually. sure he beat somebody relentlessly last. Yeah, that Alex Pereira is a scary nigga, but mm. I would. Do you see him? Um, that fool was calling him out to fight him. Jake Paul. Paul. 
Oh. Man, this, this guy don't know brain. He Jake don't know about brain. You don't have a brain. When they, when they, when they were making brain, they won't give, didn't give him. Oh my thing. No, nah, they, nah. They see, did, no. they did low key because the guy is pretty well off. Let's, 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 let's no, go. let's let's be realistic, right? With Jake Paul, I saw I I did see his fight against um Mike Perry. Mm. I'm just like okay, like he is getting good knockouts, but he's getting good knockouts against UFC fighters. Like you know what I mean? Like you're then you're gonna fight a retired boxer Mike Tyson, right? And you want to be boxing champion, you know? You don't. You know how stupid you you sound like at that point. The only fight Jake Paul needs to do, in my opinion, is one fight, one fight. No, that's KSI. Boy, that's the only fight that he needs to. do. You know do. the thing is, I'm so tired of that shit. But I'm sorry. I'm oh, so the t- influencer so boxing. Yeah, no. I'm oh no, that's why I said the minute them two fight, there's no point of it anymore. Man, even like K- I saw that KSI might pull out of the fucking fight that he's supposed to do in Dublin. Why? I don't, I don't know. I think he wanted bigger names or something. That's what, that's what. Yeah, I but see. like, you, this is my problem with that whole thing. Mm. Everybody knows the big fight. Mm. Jake Paul knows the big fight. Mm. You know the big fight. Mm. Like, all you got to do is Make it six happen. months, 50 50 split. I don't care about bigness. It's not even about money anymore. It's about the fucking you, rivalry. You man. won't have the money. Let's forget about the money. Mm. If it's the case now that, okay, we do one fight in the UK and one fight in the US, cool. Or we come to a neutral place. Come to Ireland and fight. Come to Ireland, man. We'll accept you. The Americans love Ireland. Mm. You, UK. UK. I can accept Ireland. <laughs> you can come you can, over. You can come over if you, you want come that. Come over. You fight in the Tree Arena or mm. um, what Crow Park. Crow Park or even the Aviva because mm. they'll pull in the crowd. They yeah. will pull in the numbers. They, they, come on. They'll pull in the numbers. Yeah. And you end it there because this whole bullshit that keeps going on between No, because they're going back and forth like little bitches, man. On, they, every day on Twitter. Every day, that, man. They just step up and be up look, and shut the look, fuck up like, just, at this point. Just come to a neutral place even if it's Dubai. I don't mm. care. Just go oh, and fight. So just fight, fight. Do you know how much pee you're going to no, get from this? It's not okay, even... It's, it's not about the pee okay. anymore. It's we about just, bragging rights. Man, this this has been three years in the fucking making. Just dead it off or just don't fight. Like, uh, you know what I mean? I'm actually, I'm actually so tired of it at this point. Uh, it's like... Let them move back. It's like, you, you lot, yeah, if you want to fight, you're going to fight like this. Mm. And don't come to keep saying it's about the money. You have enough money, like... Both of you are well-known businessmen. Mm-hmm. Like, both of them have like you have money. We, we already Look, we see have your money. business prime. We see it every fucking way. And this... Big Paul guy has money. I'm pretty sure he has a betting company or something. Yeah, in America. people Compare. are happy. Like, this was... There's no... Stop, stop making this about money. Nah, Those 50-50 that. split. Those 50-50 split, mm. whatever. Fight each other. Mm-hmm. And whoever wins, that's the end of story. That's it. Then, no, you know no what crying after you know, that. Do you know no. what, then? Then whoever wins that fight can go and fight Tommy Fury. And if he mm. beats the other one again, end of story. Because mm. he's beating both of you. Yeah. So, end of... Leave him alone. Even that Tommy Fury, man. No, guy, he got, that guy can move, man, Jerry. That guy, yeah, I swear. Yeah, fool. Anyway. But, um, no. It's just... I'm like... Yeah, but um, what were we saying? Sorry, before these 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 two that don't want to ever. Well, again, sick. Well, again, sick and tired of it. Yeah, he said he wants to fight Axe Pereira. Like, fair enough. Like, you want to fight Axe Pereira, you do that. But Axe Pereira's blue does not look so easy to take. <laughs> I know you might say, uh, but like, you fought all these people. You want to take a blue from Alex Pereira? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You can't even say let me fight Adesanya. You're saying you want to go out and fight Alex Pereira, the second or third biggest hitter. <laughs> If you don't, you know, I swear, if Alex Pereira got to one point of that Jake Paul chin, it's Jake Paul with four forwards, man. You, you don't make <laughs> four a... forward and back. <laughs> Rock my baby. Rock his head like this. Bro, man, I bet nah. Jake Paul needs to rest. But, for, but look, they should just, like I said, Jake Paul, um, KSI, Compt Island. Let me see the date. I'll even give you the date. First is December, Tree Arena, Aviva Stadium. We'll get a sore aid. Obviously, I don't have the connects, but we'll get a sore yeah, in. Yeah, you know, come on. Come book. to Ireland. We'll end your stupid view. Because at this time, I want this influencer box and stuff to end. To come to it's actually not your There needs to be something new now. So that's why I said these two just fight each other and it. I personally believe in this whole influential space. What they should do is, hear me out. Again, by God's grace, we're going to get to the top and we'll be able to go to these, we'll be able to influence things like this. I think what they should do is, um, I think what they should do. Sorry, I think what they should do is. Let me see. Have a league every summer, like football. You know, at least influential football we can watch and laugh. That one's different. Have a league every summer. I don't know, maybe ten. 
10 or 12 teams youtube youtube you know or like all these teams have them in one league play a match you can even just run it for a day though to be honest what you can run it for a day yeah even like something like that if you have 10 or 12 teams you know your body needs to rest more small Ah, uh, yeah, but you can run it in a day. Yeah, if it's something like, I'm talking about 11 aside. Oh, 11, aside. okay. Like okay. a league that maybe like six matches get played here mm. in the UK, six matches get played, three matches get played, I don't know, in Ireland, and three matches get played in the US. Mm. Winner, the winner, the top two, first two, first two, we play the final, then three bottom, no, three and four, we play a playoff to mm. see who's third best. Okay, yeah. That's what I think should happen. All this boxing stuff is just not worth it anymore. It's not. Know? It's not worth man risking your life, man. No risking you your life. You like at least, at least playing football. Stupid, at least playing football is fun. fun or yeah. even, you know what you should do? Have a like Olympics with all you people. You know, you get everybody like get like the AMPs, the sidemen, the beta squads. Yeah, all these P squads. Get the YouTubers. Create teams. Do like a draft. Make it interesting. Don't do this whole bullsh of going in the ring and. Punching each other. Punch. The thing I never, I always, I said this before, and I said it again. I never understand why uh, someone who's not a professional boxer wants to jump in a ring and get punched in the face by somebody. Do you know how much brain damage you can like, do? That's the thing. Stupid. Like you heard Tony Bedi when he was on I'm a Celebrity mm. Day. He goes, I probably been hit in the head like a couple of thousand times, and I know, I know, I know, I know it's eventually gonna catch up with me. Mm. But you, you want to be going to get hit in the head, like you see. Even he gave you advice, but you don't want to take it. You, you, even, you, see that, you even see that other guy. What's his name? That um guy unfortunately became disabled because of. Oh, I don't know his name. But I, don't I don't know his name, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because of because of what? Because you want got to hit in the back of the head. head. Like, and what the punch even looked that high though. Mm. It was like it was just like a obviously again a boxer like. Yeah. Like, he's disabled now for the rest of his life. This someone who's a professional at this, and you people want to be going out there punching each other, thinking like, oh, you know, I'm the baddest, I'm this and that. You know, like, bro, people don't use our families. Yeah, we should start a beef. Now. Be sorry. To have beef than doing that. If you really want to do that, be used to just going out and punch it off each other. At least you know, if someone gets hurt, there's so be an end of story. Mm. That's it. It is what it is. To, That's my oh problem my with God. the boxing thing. Like, you are not professional. Stop jumping in the ring. Like, don't think because there's doctors, no doctors or anything is gonna help you if you get brain damage. Like, yeah, you like, can have all the money in the world, but you can't have life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, like, can't, you can't have guaranteed life. You can't play football. Go, go sort it out playing a sport. Yeah, get, mm. get a few bad tackles. Race in there. like or something. Race. Like, you know what I mean? like, you might all think, oh, that we're not. We're actually, dog. That's childish. Don't do that. Like, no, sort your shit out. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes people sort their shit out on a football pitch. Like, mm. you know. Break each other up on a football pitch. End the story. Break each other up on a pitch is fun as well. You're going to have the time of your life doing that as well. You know what I mean? Why, that's why I said. There's no brain injuries there. Like, that's why, again, I'll say it before I'm saying it again. If, if all these people do like... You know... I I know we've talked about it before, yeah. But you know when I was watching the AMP and the Beta Squad game? I know it's for fun. It's for charity and all this. But I'm like, you man... Would, would pray I actually you might will never want to play the boys that are like doing the stuff that you do in Ireland. Nah, not for those things. because they will walk rings around you. I would cr- I would crash into Nico, but like I would bring that guy. I would go in straight. If Phantom if if Phantom is outpacing chunks, mm. imagine what we would do to him. <laughs> Come on. Go on the fucking house. Oh, God. You know, I'm, I'm you not know, even talking you, about... I'm not, I know that you can get bothers from left, right, center. I'm talking about people that are, like, are in the scene here that are just doing their podcasts, they're mm. doing TikTok, that are doing um, all the crazy stuff they're mm. doing. If they play football against you people, yeah, it's long. You know how, do you know how we tackle the ball? Like, we're going straight through them. Oh. You know that? We play footy <laughs> different. Yeah, okay. But anyways, <laughs> that's, uh, we went on a bit of a tangent. Something that came up um recently was Real Madrid apparently are saying they're going to hit a billion euro worth of revenue. <sighs> Real Madrid. Fucking hate that team, man. I I despise that team more than anything. I but no, it's not that they're not in the prem, so I don't have a problem with them. But like I just hate the way that FFB don't grab them at all. They they don't have they, they never have a problem. You know what I mean? They never have a problem, but they have the best team in the world. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, how can you have no problem? There's no problems anywhere in Real Madrid. They're perfect. They're literally perfect right now. One billion revenue. The best player in the world, Mbappe, has just joined you now. For free. For free. You only have to pay the man's wages, right? And maybe his agent's wages, right? You have Vinicius Jr. that you bought for chicken change. One of the best players in the world. Yeah, okay, maybe Jude Bellingham, maybe we, we we got into him a little bit with the Euros, 
but one of the best players in the world still. Yeah? You have Kamavinga, who is only like 21 right now. Yeah? Kamavinga, too shimeni. Modric has one more year left on him. Then you have Eden Miltau, Alaba still to come back from his ACL. Rudiger, Mendy, they want to go and get Davies. <laughs> Carvajal, they want to go and get Trent. My friend, well, <laughs> Oh, you forget they have that Turkish boy as well. Guler and they have Brahim Diaz. I forgot about them, man. I've I've already I've already forgot about him. Guy, if they do get Trent and Davies, I promise you there is no point of watching the Champions League ever again. And there's rumors that they want to get Haaland as well when his contract when he's the, but I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't watch Champions League anymore. But, I wouldn't want Chelsea to be in the Champions can, League. No, remember I said this can like can we actually deep here? Like let's actually think of like let's think of our heads right now when we just best team. Courtois and goal. <laughs> Courtois and goals. That guy's a mountain as well. Courtois and goal. Centre backs would be Rudiger. Rudiger and Alaba? Yeah, or Elemental. You oh, just ship yeah, top of Jesus, you treat him like. Let's speak about the players they're apparently gonna get. Trent Alexander, let's say they awesome. play let's say they play him on the right mm. mid. Left back, um, Alfonso Davis. In the middle, in that well, how did they that, that diamond that diamond would be Bellingham. Shumeni and oh, Kamavinga. Right. Up front, we're going to have Rodrigo, Mbappe, and um, Vinicius Jr. There's someone else again I'm missing. Hendrick as well. Hendrick. I forgot about that. Just, uh, Jesus Christ. Blood of oh. Like, can we actually deep that people... Real Madrid is actually that team that gets superstars for cheap. No, Real Madrid... Finesse, are finessing the system somehow and it needs to be studied because Daniel leave you yourself you need to study him you need to learn the crookery because, because actually, the crookery you're a crook but this guy this what's person, in Perez Perez is a different Florenti, type of Perez. crook how you okay Jude Bellingham 110 million fair fair but how you get in in Mbappe for free what? it's like you people planned this it was bro clearly it was planned clearly because did don't forget, you got Rudiger for free as well. You got Rudiger for free. Don't you got Alaba for like chicken change. Chicken change, yeah. If in this is Junior, they told me you got for a chicken change. It was, I think it was chicken change, yeah. Rodrigo could have been chicken change as well, like. Endrick. Okay, that was that was not chicken change. How much was Endrick? Was eight years, seventy man. Endrick is what eighteen, nineteen. I think seven. I swear, seventeen. Oh, okay, you got him for eighteen. Eight. I'm actually afraid for whoever has to play Real Madrid in the Champions League next season. I, I see I see he does scare the knees and let And even make it worse. They might be getting Shabby Alonso. Going to Angela Yeah, like, like, Can you that. listen Dead to that. the team Dead that, that this guy's gonna have? And imagine Real Madrid just said, you know what? Cause let's just get Harry Kane for the crack. Dead that man. This can you like can you just imagine yeah, they had all this? Imagine Harry Kane has his players around you. <laughs> those Harry Kane passing the ball to Mbappé. The best those, finisher in five years. Those, those, in the last five years. My shut up! No, uh, we'll, shut we'll, up. If you fight with me, what you want. You know it's the truth. We've, I've already put up. numbers. Yeah. Numbers talk, don't they? Yeah, okay. So yeah. then, you like? I think I need to explain this to you. Harry Kane is not the best finisher of all time. Yeah, in the in last, last five, five years. years. Okay, okay. Who has no you? Because we had this argument the last time, and I need to actually finish this one with you. Who has been a better finisher? When we talk about, if you tell me right now, in the last if five years before, I'm not to remember. Harry Kane is only turned thirty, so we're talking about Harry Kane probably at his prime, twenty six, twenty seven. And I said Ronaldo again. So you'd rather that five years ago you'd rather Ronaldo than Harry Kane in your team at five, Chelsea. F- five years. Five years ago you'd five rather Harry ago, right? Kane at no. We're talking. We're not talking about complete payroll. Okay. If you're telling me Has you're fi- just to you're the telling ball. me you're telling me wait to wait you're telling me you're in the Premier League. You, mm-hmm. you we know you support Chelsea. Yeah. F- we played thirty eight games in the Premier League. You're telling me you would not want Harry, you'd rather Ronaldo than Harry Kane in your team. Five which, years ago. based on finishing, not based. If you're talking in, in last yes, five years, yeah. Last five years. Yes. Based no, listen to me. I'm based not talking just based, on finishing. based just on finishing. I'm not talking about all round play. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to I would want finishing. Ronaldo. I would want Ronaldo. If it was all round. Yeah, okay. Well, just on finishing. hundred percent Ronaldo. Well lie, hundred percent Ronaldo. You're high. <laughs> yeah, no. You're generally high. No, I would hundred uh, There's no reason Ronaldo. why you want Ronaldo on your team rather than how he came based on finishing. Yes, I would, because you're, of finishing. You're talking about you want you're talking we're talking about um, sorry, Hurricane is 31. So we're talking about a 20, 
seven-year-old Harry Kane versus a 23-year-old Ronaldo. You want Ronaldo or Harry Kane yeah. based on finishing alone. Yeah. You people know. I actually need me and this one. I'm going to specifically go and cut this clip out. You people have to let me know this, and I need to be honest. We're talking about 27 year old Harry Kane to three year old Ronaldo based on finishing alone, no, not all round play. Mm. Who are you going to want? I'm, I'm taking Harry Kane all day of the week. We're yeah, talking about a crazy. guy who is scoring 20 plus goals a season in the Premier League. This is we're not talking about like. Where did you get this logic from? <laughs> yeah, you're talking about Tetri Avrados at Juventus when there's only like two or three teams there. So he's oh still. You're talking about finishing. You're not. You're not. It's not the teams he's playing. You're talking about finishing. Yeah, but finishing the ball. Yeah. He's still shooting against a goalkeeper that's in the net, yeah, and he still has to put the ball past the goalkeeper. He's still a goalkeeper. I still can't believe you will want Ronaldo. Of hundred percent. No, because you're using the league. I'm just like that okay, doesn't sorry make sense. Sorry about using the league. Let me rewind okay. my statement. Okay. We're talking about based on finishing alone. I'm taking Kane all day. No, every because game. He, I would take Ronaldo fully. Oh, there's no reason why you're taking Ronaldo. There is. There's no reason. That is. There's no reason. You're just talking now. Ronaldo, I'm not. I, I, I still can't believe what you're trying to do. Who even even blocked that point? I'm listening to myself. Harry blocked that thing. HK10, have you? HK10. That's that's it, bro. You want him? Do you want to take him over? Listen to who want to take him over. Oh come on, my brother. You are better than this. You are so much better than this. I know your football knowledge is better. I know you're just saying this because it's me. Nah, I was saying it fully. No, you're saying it because it's me. No, you're saying it because it's me. There's no way. And we can, well, actually, I actually need to, because. You know what, put on, you know, make sure you put on a TikTok. Because I want to see people, I yeah, want to hear. I want you to be, okay, let me explain this to you people one more time. So, I had an argument with the boys last week that Harry Kane is the best finisher in football in the last five years. Not all-round player. We're talking about finisher. This, this, this guy across from me went on to go and say with his whole chest that Ronaldo Ronaldo is it Ronaldo and Messi Messi I didn't really put I was like Messi is a different breed yeah. Ronaldo has been a better finisher than Harry Kane in the last five years well I'm talking about pure finishing yes fair enough we can sit here and I say, say player I, if you say if you're saying player not even a question but I'm, yeah we're talking about finishing and I would still 100% say Ronaldo but you can't say that because in theory, Harry Kane has been the best striker in football in the last five years. The it, best because let me explain to you. Let me explain years. to you why are, he's are you okay? Let me explain to you why you say Harry Kane is not the best striker. Mm. If Harry Kane had won that Champions League when they played Liverpool, you wouldn't be having this argument with me. I promise you, if Harry Kane had one or two trophies to his name, this argument would not be happening in the first place. I would, but I would, I could still, I could, I'm telling, I could still say Lewandowski. He won a Champions League in the last five years, and uh, he, with who? But, with Bayern. When did I talk about it? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. During lockdown. Uh, that's not possible. Yeah, against PSG. They bet PSG in the final. Coleman scored a header. That was the 2020 Champions League final. 2020 Champions League went to Are play. you sure? Because I thought that Real Madrid had won like the last four or five Champions Leagues. No, 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 no. It was 2020. It was... 2020 was Bayern. 2021 was Chelsea. Yeah. Lewandowski has a Champions League team's name at the end of the day. And he was banging in goals. You can say Lewandowski as well. Um, I don't. Are you, wait, are you sure? That one is confusing me. Champions League winner. Well, maybe I'm going crazy. Young, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know something. Let me see. That's when uh, what's it? Hansen Flick was there. Oh. Hmm. So wait, Champions League winners 2018 19 was Liverpool, mm. Bayern Munich next, Chelsea, Chelsea Madrid, City, Madrid. Madrid. Yeah. Oh no, sorry. What am I saying? It was in 2015 they won the Champions League three times. Mm. Damn, the last time that Barcelona won Champions League was 2015. Can't be a silly Dumari. That was with that was with Luis Enrique, was it? Yeah. Well, look. I, I, sorry guys, so, um, so let me reiterate my question one more time for you people, because obviously the people that watch the pod and the disreaded people on TikTok. Mm. Five, we're talking the last five years. You're talking a player based on finishing and finishing alone. Mm. Are you taking Harry Kane? Or are you taking Cristiano Ronaldo? So we're I'd talking add, about... And you can even add Lewandowski to that as well. 
the Lewandowski if you want is out the window, bro. Come on, let's go. Add Lewandowski to that. Well, add Lewandowski if you want. But that's yeah. all we're talking We're not talking about Haaland. We're not talking about Benzema. We're not talking about any of these people. Mm. The last five years, if you're asking me about a player you know that finisher, are you taking Harry Kane or Cristiano Ronaldo? Let us know in the comments. And there's a right answer to this. Which and there's a right answer to this. And there's a wrong answer. And we know what the wrong answer is. Exactly. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Anyways. Um, no, like, look... I, at the end of the day, like, I I don't... See, Ronaldo, if you told me... If I said this... If you if you asked me this question three years ago, I'm not even going to look at Harry Kane twice. I'm telling you the truth. But now, especially after what he's done at Bayern, fair enough, he played shit at the Euros. So did Ronaldo. So, at least Harry Kane scored a goal or two. Ronaldo didn't. Yeah, and yet the five years we're talking about is even now we're talking about yeah. Tati, you're going to we're take... also talking about Saudi so, you, so... fully <laughs> you are, you, I don't even know what to call you but you are something you still have to score past the keeper at the end of the day oh guy come on you, you, you know yourself you know you just don't, don't do the Saudi league thing I'm, I'm, I'm if, you're, Saudi if you're putting the Saudi league thing in this and you're telling me you're not going to take a guy who just okay, scored 40 flip, plus goals okay, 40 flip, plus goals I'll flip it back to you name apart from Nair and and the uh, British Dortmund keeper name four other keepers in that league. I don't know four other keepers. Exactly. Do you, name four from the Saudi. Name league. one from the Saudi league. Yeah, Mendy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you know. Yes. <laughs> you can't name one. I Who did you one. name? Wait, sorry, you said uh, Mendy. No, no, Neuer. Neuer and Kobel. How about Summer? Summers are Inter. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. So we don't really know the keepers that that Kane is going against. We don't really know the keepers that Ronaldo. Are you telling me? You're telling me the you're telling me the keepers that Ronaldo is going against are going to be the same quality as German keepers who Germany that played some of the best for Germany that they're is not where... far off. They're not far off though. No, deep what you're saying. No, deep what you're saying. You're no, to deep, say no, deep what you're saying though, right? I only I, the cheap keepers I, I would know, right? Mm -hmm. At four, there's Castillo, there's Galaski, there's Nayer, and there's Kobel. You take Naira so out because you, he plays for. You just named four, but thank you. Yeah, I said I said four. Actually, I said actually four. Take out Naira because he plays with yeah. Hurricane. Then there's three other keepers that will be that would be known. After that, you wouldn't know any of them. Am I right? You're not wrong, but at the same time. But like again, you compare that to the Saudi League. Saudi League do have the Saudi League only even started like two or three years ago, bro. Let's not do this. Yeah, okay, maybe they started two or three years ago, but they've made a lot of signings. No, they have though. They made a lot of signings. They did, but come on, you. You think about it's not like it's not like the the quality is not far off at all. You tell me the quality of the Saudi league is near the quality of the German league. I wouldn't say it. I didn't say it was the same. I said. It, it <laughs> hey! I, I said it wasn't far well, off. I think it is pretty I, far off. Listen to the words. So German football, mm -hmm. German, the best where where we know some of the best football is mm -hmm. is Germany, yeah, England, mm -hmm. Spain. Spain. You're trying to tell me that Saudi football is not far off those three levels of football. Just Germany, I said. Germany probably is the highest standard of football out of all the three we just said there. That is such capital, bro. It's crazy. Who's okay? What? Who has higher standard of football than Germans? It's Spain. It's Spain. our business. Anyways, but anyways, look on the on the other side. Thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping engaged. I mean, we hope you love it. As I said, new content coming soon. Just got to get everything sorted. Take care. God bless and have a good day. And please be guided. Don't ever put rash foods in your combined blood.